Okay, today we're going to be installing a K-Strain kit on a Kubota KX040. On the Kubotas, they're all pretty much the same. It's just different uh, dimensions on the kit. So if you can do a, watch this KX040 video, you can do any of the other models. A lot of our other models also, uh, different manufacturers, it's a similar process on the stick. Once you get inside where the tank is, it's a little different, but it's all pretty much the same idea. Uh, we'll start out here at the end of the stick and we'll get uh, everything assembled on the way back. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the bracket on for the quick disconnect. There are different variations that are available based on the different manufacturers and different options from the manufacturers. We send a basic bracket. You can usually find a bolt hole or a bolt to piggyback it behind. Uh, you can also weld the bracket on. The other thing is we do send the kit completely assembled. So when you lay it out, it's all pretty self-explanatory as to what goes with. Once that bracket is installed, I don't have the final tightening on it yet. I'm gonna get everything in place and then we'll tighten it up. So the shortest hose is designed to go first. These tend to get beat up a lot and that way it's replaceable. You don't have to replace 20 foot of hose. The next hose will be the medium length one. On the 040, I think it's 118 inches. And that will get you down to the knuckle. At this point, I just lay it up here and then our kit comes with the appropriate amount of clamps. Uh, these are typically used on um, mulching heads and some uh, breakers or hammers. They'll require a case strain. Anything that has a piston motor in it will always require a case strain. But a lot of the mulching heads these days have gear motors that it really helps to have a case strain installed on them. It helps preserve the life of the motor, uh, the seals in the motor. It helps not only drain the the fluid off that's, used, that's being used to lubricate the hydraulic motor, but it's also a good way to absorb the, the pressure spikes from uh, sudden impacts. All the pro grades do require them. Um, we try to encourage people to get one. Other dealerships do sell them. Um, what we're selling is pretty much the same as the dealership has. We make them in-house out of convenience for our end users. You want to leave enough room to make sure you have room to articulate the stick. And repeat. And then we've got one more right here. Okay, now we have our hose on the entire boom. It should work out that your union is back towards the knuckle. At this point, we're gonna grab our long hose and work it through into the tank. So when you're shoving this last hose through, you always wanna try and keep the end of it capped off to keep from any dirt from getting into your system. Save your filters. So you're gonna go down through the knuckle and there's a port right here for an extra hose. You're gonna go through there and when you shove the hose up, work with the curve of the hose and you should be able to shove it up into the compartment where you can reach through the other side and grab it. And we came through right here with these other hoses we don't want to be intertwined with them. So we're going to reach back here and pull it up behind everything else. Okay, at this time, you're going to take off one of the bolts on the bracket. There's three here. It's easiest to take off this closest one to the tank side. We're going to piggyback a clamp in there and run our hose up to connect with the other one.
On the Kubotas we use, uh, they use an oil plug that has standard British threads on it. So what we do is remove your fill cap and we send you with this adapter. So you remove the oil cap and we send you with this adapter and this 90 degree piece. So the oil cap is replaced with this plug and you will screw that all the way in where it will seal like your cap did. And then this piece is able to be pivoted so that when we route our hose, I found it's easier to go down and under this latch so you can get a straight shot right back to the top. All you really want to do is just make sure you don't have any abrasion points so that when you run your hose, or when you run your machine, you're not getting any wear, take that from my, you're not getting any wear on the hoses. Then you can hook up your case drain line to your tank, so this gives you a true return to tank. The hose tucks out of the way where you don't have to worry about it interfering with any functions. In order to put fluid back in your tank, all you have to do is break this union open right here. Remove your cap, add your fluid like normal. Put this back in like a cap. Index it to where you want. Set the lock nut. And reinstall the case drain hose. And don't forget your cap. That's the installation on a Kubota KX040, um, the 057, the 080, um, all the Kubota models that we've done so far all set up exactly like this. On other manufacturers, you're going to have a different interface. Some of them will go in um, in line with the filter. Others will go into a port on the tank. But in one way, shape, or form, they always return to tank.